Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how to get a cheap SSL certificate for GoDaddy. We will be buying an SSL from Namecheap and then installing it in GoDaddy's cPanel. After this video, your website will have a green padlock like this. And you can get it for a very affordable price. This way, you can keep more money to yourself, like this guy. Sexy Bill, hugging a computer. Tip sweat punch. Please note that if you have GoDaddy's managed WordPress plan, the plan where you only can access the WordPress, this will not work. And you need to use an SSL from Cloudflare. I have a video how to do it, and it's in the description. I'm going to first show you how to buy the SSL from Namecheap, but if you already have an SSL from external party, then you can skip to about four and a half minutes of this video. All right, we're going to use Namecheap to buy the SSL certificate. And I like to use Namecheap because they have good service and also they're very affordable. So let's take a look at the SSL certificates that Namecheap provides. And I'll leave a direct link to this page so you can just click it's the first link in the description. So once you land here, what you can see is that there's a lot of different options. The easiest way is to just change this to one year. And then here, you need to decide if you have just one domain or if you have a domain with multiple subdomains. So if you have subdomains, then choose this wildcard. Wildcard will cover basically everything and it covers the subdomains and any other variations of your domain. And if you have just multiple domains, you can use this one. But in my case, actually, I just want the single domain. So in this case, you can see the price will be $8. Arnie, how does that sound? <laughs> just to compare, let's take a look how much uh, SSL certificate costs at GoDaddy. And here, if you scroll down, you can see that it's about $64 a year. So basically, if you go with Namecheap, you're going to save about 50 bucks just right there. And then if we look at the wildcard SSL, as you can see, it's here almost 300 bucks. Whereas at Namecheap, it was something like 80 or $90. So there's a huge savings you can make just by uh, researching which SSL provider you use. Enough talk. So I'm going to add it to my basket. And you can see by accident, I've already added wildcard. Let's remove that one. So here you can see I have positive SSL. You can check if you want uh, one year or two years, then just select that. Benefit of having two years is obviously you don't need to renew it. Just in two years, you need to do the same process. I'm going to just select one year because I don't use this domain so much. And the price is about $9. And please keep in mind that I do have a video of how to do this for free using Let's Encrypt, but the drawback of using it is that you need to renew it every 90 days. And for me, I had done it for a couple years, but now I'm just fed up with uh, doing this every, every three months. I just want to do it once a year and I'm done with it. I'm happy to pay for that. Anyway, if you want to see the video of how to do it for free, check out the description. I'll leave the link there. Okay, so once you're ready here, confirm the order. And you have this option. This is the payment method option. Actually, one step before that is choosing the payment method, but I already have PayPal as my default one and it's already on this page. But double check that all the details are correct and then just check out with PayPal or MasterCard, whatever you're using. The point is to purchase the domain. And since I'm using PayPal, I need to choose the balance. I'm gonna use the US dollars. Hit continue here again. All right, great. This is the thank you page. Just means that you bought the SSL certificate. Arnie, how did you buy the SSL? Cocaine. Okay, so here are the steps we're going to take throughout this video. There's six steps that we're going to take. This looks much more complicated than it actually is. So let's start by getting the CSR from GoDaddy and put it on Namecheap. So now we can go to our account and actually activate it. So let's do that. So we'll go here, dashboard. Here's the dashboard. And here, if you click on the product list, you can see you have one 
positive SSL, which has doesn't have a domain yet. So let's activate it. So click on activate. And basically we need to create a CSR and this is created on your hosting provider like GoDaddy and just follow these steps and you'll be fine. It's quite easy actually. So at this point you need to log into your cPanel like this. So here's my cPanel with GoDaddy and here in the search box type in SSL and choose the first option and you need to generate this CSR. As you can see, I have one here, but we need to create a new one. Here in the domains, you need to type in the domain you want to, the certificate to apply to. So in my case, it will be linktopus.net. You can add the www here, but the Commodore certificate will cover both. Anyways, you can do this and just keep it like this. And if you bought a wildcard certificate, then you need to put a star dot your domain dot com this way the star tells the system that it will cover everything subdomains www it's all included and then fill in all these details and then click on generate so i'll pause the video now and fill all the details all right once you've filled it in give this a description link to boost.net csr arnie what did you put in the description field I'm a cybernetic organism, living tissue over a metal endoskeleton. And then click on generate. Okay, cool. Then just grab this code here, copy. And now we can go to Namecheap and enter it here. Just paste it. Just include also the end certificate and also the beginning certificate. Just all of it. And here you can choose the primary domain, but basically it just takes the link to push.net. And then click on next. Great. Now we need to choose uh, which kind of server we have. But if you're using cPanel, then it will be that one, the second one. Okay. In this step, you need to choose the method you're going to verify this uh, certificate. And unless you have already email with this domain, with your domain, then you can use email, but I would like to use the HTTP. I find it the easiest. So let's do that. And we're just going to download an HTTP file that we're going to place on our hosting. And that way the Commodore will know that this domain actually belongs to us. So let's click on next. And this is important. Just put the email where you want the SSL certificate to come. So in my case, it's my Gmail. I'm going to use this one so then click next again and now here last step just double check that what you're doing is the correct one submit arnie how's the tutorial going so far too much coding now we need to download the files that we will place on our server and actually it's a bit hidden you have to come here and click on see detail on this page you have edit methods, but actually we need to click on this arrow and download the file. And then again, download file. And it's just a text file, which we will place in a second. And done. Great. So now it's downloaded and we can go back to cPanel. So I'll scroll down till the bottom and return to SSL manager. Oh, sorry. Actually, you have to go to cPanel. Let's go to the home page. And here, click on File Manager. And in File Manager, find your domain. In my case, this is an add-on domain, so it's in public HTML. And I need to find it here. It's here. And go inside of it. And now, in, in this file, you can see that I'm inside the domain name folder. You create a new folder called dot well dash known. Just create a new folder. Oh, I already actually have that folder. So let's go inside of it. And here you need to create another folder, which is basically the PKI validation. Let's create it and go inside of this folder 
and now here you need to upload the file we just downloaded so click on upload and select the file downloads and it's this text file I just downloaded Cool, now it's uploaded, so now we go back and you can see that it actually exists there. You are not you, you are me. No sh now we need to verify that the TXT file that we just placed is actually something Namecheap can verify. So now we go back to Namecheap and on this page you go to Edit Methods just click on the edit methods and you can see that you can save changes or retry the method so we want to retry it so let's click on this button okay great we got this message and basically says that the method has been changed successfully the fourth step is we're going to receive an email from Namecheap or actually it's going to come from Komodo and you're going to receive it to your email and this email will include also a zip file that we're going to unzip and then take that content out it took about two minutes to receive the email but basically you'll receive two emails the first one will include the certificate and the second one is just a notification that you can use a trust logo we actually need the first email which actually has also a zip file so just download the file save it and then unzip it and let's go inside of it and here you see there's two files you actually just need the .crt file we're going to upload it to GoDaddy in just a second if you wanted to see what's in it I recommend just opening it with uh, something like text editor or something simple And you can see it's just this a long chain of uh, letters and numbers. So basically gibberish like this. <laughs> From laps to the four wins. Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. In the fifth step, we're going to use the files from the zip file that we received from Namecheap. And it's called CRT. And we're going to place that in GoDaddy and C panel. Okay, so let's go to GoDaddy now. So here we are in GoDaddy and we can just go here to C panel. In C panel, type in SSL, choose the first one. And then we need to choose this CRT. In here, scroll down until you see upload a new certificate. And here you see you can actually just upload the file with .crt extension. Let's do that. So just upload the file we just downloaded with the .crt. Open and give it a description. And upload certificate. Right, now we can go back. It's uploaded. Scroll down until you're at the bottom and click on return to SSL manager. And now we're going to install it by clicking on this manage SSL sites. Here, crawl down until you see browser certificates. And here in the domain, just select the domain you, we just added. In my case, it's this linktopus.net. And here, autofill by domain, click on that. This will pre-fill everything for you. So all the details for the certificate and you can just click on install certificate and it's just notifying you here that everything went well and just click on OK and if you scroll down you can see you have now a new certificate here it's valid until well one year from this date and it covers these two domains so let's see if it worked And as you can see, I have now this connection is secure. And if I look at where this 
certificate comes from and you can see that there's a domain validation secure server certificate here so now your website went into a stealth mode this means that your domain has now SSL certificate now for some of you you might still have this semi closed lock or it's a I think on Firefox it's just the orange lock that means you have mixed content warning and I have two videos how to fix it one for WordPress and one for normal websites and you can check those in the description it's really easy to fix but one thing I recommend you doing is if you type in just HTTP you can see that it's still not secured so you need to redirect all the traffic that comes to HTTP to HTTPS and then you will display it correctly it's quite easy to do with a bit of few lines of code which I'll provide in the description so go back to your cPanel and the file manager so let me just refresh this and again just find your domains folder let's go inside of it and here you have HD access file it's usually with a dot if you don't see this just click on settings here at the top and make sure you have show hidden files uh, checked and then right click on it and click on edit and edit and I already have the code here but I just need to uncomment it so it works and I'm going to paste this in the description so you can just grab it you can just place it at the bottom of the file for example if you have WordPress then just place it there and save changes and now if I refresh this page you can see that it actually redirected to directly to HTTPS and now the site is secure no matter how you enter the site my name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website get more traffic and other website related stuff make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything here are two videos that I think you'll find useful. Whoosh.